You're here to write an introduction that grabs the reader's attention. Here's a four step process to get it done. I'm Jack from Proofed. The four steps to writing an eye-catching introduction are hook your reader, provide context, present your thesis statement, map your essay. So let's get to work. Step one, hook your reader. Hooking your reader means starting your essay with a clear, concise and catchy sentence that grabs their attention. So how do we make our opening sentence go from boring to catchy? Let's have a look at some examples. This essay will explore how Shakespeare used suspense in his plays. This opening sentence is fine. It does explain to the reader what the essay intends to do, but does it really grab their attention? How can we make it better? Suspense is key for dramatic stories. Shakespeare is well known and celebrated for writing suspenseful plays. This version of our opening sentence gives the reader a reason to read on. Please show me your opening lines in the comments. I'm keen to see just how catchy you can make them. Step two, provide context. Once you have them hooked, provide your reader with the background information they need to help them understand your essay. Outline historical or social context. Define key terms. Introduce relevant theories or research. Don't overwhelm the reader here in the introduction. Save your evidence, analysis and in-depth points for the main body. Step three, present thesis statement. Now you need to narrow the focus of your essay and explain to the reader exactly what you want to say about your topic. Your thesis statement is the most important part of your introduction. It should sum up your argument in one to two points, define the focus of your essay, make a claim which requires evidence and explanation, a claim which can be disputed. If you haven't developed your thesis statement yet, don't worry, I've included a video in this playlist dedicated to writing a strong thesis statement. Step four, map your essay. Before you wrap up your introduction, it can be very valuable to signpost each of the points in your essay. Keep it concise and focus on giving your reader a clear sense of direction. This step will also help you to ensure that your arguments follow a logical structure throughout. Before we finish, let's double check that we've covered everything with a quick recap. Have you hooked your reader, provided context, presented your thesis statement, mapped out your essay, and finally had your work proofread. Proofreading your work is the best way to ensure that your message is communicated in a clear, concise, and correct manner without the inclusion of distracting errors. Whether you ask a friend, a colleague, or a professional company, have your work proofread before submitting it. Now you have four straightforward steps to make sure that your introduction grabs your reader's attention and sets up your excellent essay. The next video in the playlist guides you through writing the main body of your essay. Your writing proof.